it's Mama Beth and I'm back in the kitchen. I got my wiener dogs at my feet. I've got a lot of work to do. And y'all check out, I see I had to go backwards, uh, my cookie jars. I told y'all I like collected cookie jars and I got some of them out and I'm going to wash them and put goodies in them so when the trick-or-treaters come they can have goodies out of the head of the witch or out of my Cinderella, all the evil queens or maybe even Jack Skellington. No, that one's too expensive. I'm not taking that one out. Anyway, I've got them out and I want to talk today about vampires. We're going to talk about emotional vampires. One in particular because um, I made a video that went up last night and I appreciate it if I just watched it about autoimmune disease and uh, the different ones that I have and how they affect you and what they do to you but um, I mentioned somebody in that video and I shouldn't have done it. Well maybe I should have maybe I shouldn't have but anyway I want to make some things clear. There's a difference between having something wrong with you and being brave about it and saying you know what I'll work through it. I'm going to find medical help, I'm going to get cured, and then there's the other side where, oh, I've got something wrong with me. Send me money to my GoFundMe. Sign up for my Patreon. I'm too sick to do this and that and the other. If you're not sick, get disability. Sign up go through the court proceedings. We have it. It's a law in this country. We have disability for people who cannot work. If you can work, then don't get online and whine because I can't stand that shit. It drives me crazy. If you could get up and go to a job, go do it. If you can't figure out something else to do, write a book. Make videos, but don't whine about being sick, okay? When you're sick, you be strong. Ask anybody that deals with this crap that I do. You know, you have bad days and you have good days, but I don't call all my friends going, oh, I've got such a bad day. It's such a terrible day. Somebody needs to pay my bills. No, that's not how it works. And I've never been like that. And I don't like people that do that. Those are called emotional vampires. And I'm going to read to you. Uh, the definition, an emotional vampire is someone who exhausts the people they know by using medical illnesses perceived or actual to raise money, have bills paid, etc. They drain your emotions and they drain your bank account. Okay, that's one definition. Came off some website, I copied it, photoshopped it, photo, took a shot of it by photo. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyway. And I thought, you know what? Emotional vampire. That's exactly what's going on. Um, I'm going to talk about Joy. She can get mad at me if she wants to. And all of her Joy fans or Joy Tarts or whatever, I don't like that word. But um, they can get mad at me all they want. But the people who know me and know who I am and what I'm about, they'll understand and they'll, they'll see the truth in the light. And if anybody who doesn't know her and doesn't know what's been going on, stumbles across her, they'll be forewarned. So I hope that I can put enough tags and links to where I can save somebody from maybe sending money to the wrong person. Um, Joy's got a long history. You know, it's it's rather, this is crazy. I'm not into dragging people. Y'all know, I, I say be kind to people, be nice to people, clean up your mess, be good to those around you. Well, so this is not really my thing, but until I got so many requests and so many tweets and DMs and messages and emails, I said, oh shit, I gotta do it. I gotta talk about it. So I'm not gonna be one of those people who says, I really wasn't gonna make this video. No, I thought about making this video and then I said, nope. But then I got so many people asking, I said, well, I'm going to. Okay, I'm gonna go down the list so you know exactly who I'm talking about so I don't get these facts wrong because I've got it written down so I don't screw up. Okay, Joy Sparkle BS, and now there's a second one, Joy Sparkle's BS on Twitter. It's a different person. It's a troll and they're great. Love and follow them too. Joy Sparkle BS is AKA Katie Marie Smith. Now she's a YouTuber who's made herself, uh, made a name for herself by turning out uh, multiple videos, and we're talking hundreds of videos, mainly about Anision and Daddy of Five in a very short amount of time. Um, hundreds, it's, cra it's, it's just beyond, it's beyond crazy. It's beyond obsessive. Um, she claims to have debilitating illnesses. Now they're mystery illnesses because remember she didn't know what she had at first and that's fine. A lot of us don't know what we have until we've got a good diagnosis. Until you get a proper diagnosis then you know you can say something's wrong. It's a mystery. But she has claimed to have, uh, let's see, fibromyalgia, IBS, PTSD, autoimmune diseases, multiple ones, copper toxicity, which is also called Wilson's disease, and I know all about that. Um, inflammation of the thyroid, constant inflammation of the thyroid is called Hashimoto's disease, 
and uh, I have that. So we can talk about that later if you want to. She has anxiety that causes her such chronic intense pain that she wants to die. Says she's not being able to hold a job, but she still puts out between, you know, two and 12 videos a day. Now, I'll be the first to tell you, it's not that hard to do videos. Especially if you don't edit it. Or if you're live streaming, I get on here and just talk, 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 but I'm used to it. So, putting out a lot of videos, putting out one, two, or three a day, that's, that's possible. You know, even with bad fibromyalgia or RA or Sjogren's or lupus or whatever, you know, you can do a video. But are you going to be able to do 12 and stay on there for hours at a time? No, I doubt it because I get worn out. And I know other people who have it, they're, they're all questioning, you know, how are you able to do these four or five hour live streams? I don't understand either, but anyway. Um, she films with boundless energy. She's always real up, up, up. I'm up right now because I decided to give up and go back on the, on the uh, prednisone. Because really, I was feeling like crap for two days and I said, I can't take no more. So I went ahead and started on a low dose. And right now, she's on prednisone. She says it. She's on prednisone and she's thinking about taking Lyrica or I don't know if she's taking Lyrica because honestly, I haven't watched her in a few days and I don't give a crap to. But, um, and the only reason I'm doing this is because of the ass too. Remember that. Um, but she films for as much as eight hours at a time. Now, she has a lot of claims on this that uh, these multiple hours don't wear her out. Well, they, they will. Doing multiple hours of anything. I'm worn out at the end of a whole day and then filming and, you know, doing my work in the kitchen, doing my things that I like, you know, I'm worn out and I sleep hard, you know, and maybe she's sleeping hard, but that's not my problem. My problem is not her saying that she has these illnesses, okay, because until you're diagnosed, like I said, until you're diagnosed, you don't know. All you know is you feel like shit, okay? My problem is the GoFundMes and the social justice warrior stance that she's taken. Okay, it started off with Anision. Oh, he was getting young girls to do this and young girls to do that. Well, if she doesn't like Anision, she can turn him off. And if he's not age restricted, then that's on YouTube to shut him down. That's not Joyce's problem. It's not anybody else's problem. You know, a lot of people don't like Greg. I don't like Greg. I think he's a piece of crap. You know, I've watched his videos. I've watched some of them and I'm like, I just roll my eyes and then I, I'm like, I'm not giving this fully more views. Okay. Um, but then she got on the dad, Joy got on the daddy of five. Now daddy of five is a bit different. I'm going to tell you why. As a therapist, I deal with people and have dealt with people for a long time who have long-term trauma from childhood abuse. Okay. I watched those videos. I watched that channel and I saw it and I cried and I was traumatized by what was going on. And I was like, why isn't there something being done? You think I didn't write an email too? Sure did. But did I get on here and make hundreds of videos showing that abuse over and over and over again? Yeah, I'll talk about them. And I'll talk about the situation, but I'm not going to put it, clips in of the brother smacking the sister or poor little Cody on the floor screaming and, you know, over ink. And parents using language like I never used to my kids screaming in their ears and screaming at each other and that house looked like a disaster area and it was abuse as far as I'm concerned and the court ruled it abuse so on that. So Joy goes and makes all these videos and then she gets then she decides to do more than talk about it. She decides to get in touch with Rose and that's the biological mother of the two children that were being abused. And I'm not going to mention their names again because they've had enough crap online about their names. But Rose I'll talk about I'm not putting her last name on this. Um, Rose seems like a real sweet trusting person. She got an attorney that was an ambulance chaser, and you can look him up. I'm not saying his name either. You can go look it up and see who handled the Daddy of Five case. But he did it free. He did it pro bono. He needed he needed some good reviews on his Google. You can check out his reviews. So um, TC, that's the lawyer, and was working with the mother Rose for free, and it was all keep going. And Joy's saying that the lawyer TC is telling her to keep these videos up that they might need them for court. Well, that's bullshit. Because let me tell you, uh, Phil DeFranco sent the original videos, he says so, on his channel one, with regard to this. He sent the original Daddy of Five videos to the court and make sure they had them. They don't need some YouTuber breaking it down for them. Okay, so that's a load of horse manure. And um, then she started to go find me for Rose. Now, we have yet to see how much money that mother has gotten from Joy's GoFundMe. 
uh, we've seen different amounts. We've heard her say that, oh, well, it takes uh, five days to get to my bank account and I had to pay for a hotel room. And, you know, and Rose has come on Twitter and I have screenshotted and retweeted. You can go see my tweets. Uh, you can always go see my tweets. It's Mama Best World. But uh, Rose asking her to stop, saying, please take down the videos about my children. Take this down. And then she says, I'm just doing what the lawyer's telling me to do, and I'm confused, and I just want my kids, and there's been a gag order, and then the gag order was lifted. You know what? If you really care about somebody, and you really care about helping them out, Joy, because I know you're going to watch this, um, show how much you made. Show us that GoFundMe. Show how much money went in there, specifically for that, and those five and $25 and $50 donations, and some $100. Show us how much. Show the proof. Show the receipts, Whitney. Just like Whitney said, show me the receipts. Okay? Otherwise, shut up. Shut up about her. You're not her mama, you're not her family, and you're damn sure not a friend. Or you would listen to her the first time she asked you to take those down. Now, um, then the second, and this got me, and we, after the Rose GoFundMe and she was getting all that crap about that. Y'all go lay down with daddy. Sorry, I got wieners running around. Um, after that, she got into this whole, I'm going to start a GoFundMe for hurricane victims, for Harvey. Well, I like to fill out. And if you're from the South, falling out means pass out, faint. I like to fill out, and uh, she was saying that she was going to do relief for this and relief for that. And she even had the audacity, and I can't find the tweet because it didn't screenshot it at the right time, where she said, send your money to me, it'll be safer that way. Like, she was going to do better. Well, I'm going to put links for real charities. For Puerto Rico, for Harvey Relief, for um, the, the islands are wiped out, you know. The Caribbean is just a mess. And uh, Naples, Florida, they they escaped. But, you know, between Houston and the, and I'm rambling, between Houston and the islands, there's been a lot of stuff going on. And then Mexico. God bless all those people. You know, we, we have to help them. But the, you need to find the right charity. So I'm going to put uh, links in my description to charities for Puerto Rico, for all of the Caribbean islands, for Harvey victims in Houston, and uh, also since we have all the Patreon and the GoFundMe's and all this crap going on, if you want to help find a cure for autoimmune disease, I'm gonna I'm gonna put you some links in there. It's gonna be uh, one for rheumatoid arthritis, one for fibromyalgia, and one for lupus. Because if you're gonna spend your money don't send it to somewhere that it's going to go in somebody's pocket and not actually do any good. And I want to I want to state this. Remember back about 15 years ago and everything was pink? Susan G. Komen Foundation was leading. Everything was pink. Baseball bats were pink. Sneakers were pink. If you bought something pink, it said, oh, sponsor of the American Cancer Association. Or not, uh, Breast Cancer Association, excuse me. Everything was pink. And then we found out that not everything pink donated shit. Okay, Susan G. Komen, I think it was 10% of all their profits. Maybe in sales, but I think it was profits. Went, I even want, went to Lowe's and bought a pink pot. Hang on, I got flipped a winner up. I bought a pink pot and pink flowers that were supposed to give proceeds to um, the Susan G. Komen Foundation, breast cancer. And then we find out all that. There's a lot of bogus charities. I love you too. There's a lot of bogus charities out there. So don't send your money to some shyster that's going to put it in their pocket. That's crazy. I spent so much money on pink crap. Now, I will say that there were some really good charities. And we know about uh, the BRCA gene. We know about having a mastectomy, double mastectomy if you do have that gene. And um, how to take care of yourself. And there's better options out there for people with breast cancer. And i got people with breast cancer in my family. And... Uh, you know, who've had to have mastectomies, and this was before the research, and they went through chemo and radiation. And, you know, I know people who've lost hair, and it's hard. I was, when I was taking chemo for my rheumatoid arthritis, which that's one of the, one of the medications is a chemotherapy drug. I talked about that earlier. I um, lost my eyebrows and I lost a lot of hair. And as you can see, I got a lot of hair, <laughs> I got long hair. Um, and I took, took my folic acid and, you know, my biotin supplements. For it, but if we didn't know 10, 15 years ago even about that. So some good did come from all those donations for breast cancer research, but not all of them. 
what I want to end with, this is my bitching in the kitchen series, and I'm going to have, there's bitching in the kitchen with some other people, there's different blogs and stuff, and there's a song called bitching in the kitchen, and I wish I had the rights to it, because I'd use it, but um, I'm going to have this series, bitching in the kitchen with Mama Beth, and we're going to talk about things that aggravate me, things that aggravate you, things that aren't right, and if I can do some good, if I can educate some people, and if I can send them money, some money in the right direction for research and for the good things that we need, for helping people out. Not, not Etsy accounts that just use the spoon name either. Okay, watch out for those. If it says spoon on it, you better make sure that it's the right thing. Because there are a lot of us spoonies out there, and we can all use it. It's not a trademark name. Okay, now I'm done bitching. I'm gonna get to work. I gotta get some wiener dogs out of this kitchen. I think they need some food. But I love you and you love yourself. And take care of yourself. Bye y'all.